Hey guys, welcome to part three of our Zend Framework 2 mini series. In this video, we're going to set up routing and controllers in our application. All right, so what we want here is we want a few different pages. Okay, we want a home page which will dis display the list of albums and provide links to edit and delete them. All right, we also want an area to add new albums, edit albums, and delete albums. All right, so if we go down here, the, this is going to be the different actions inside of our album controller. So we want index, add, edit, and delete. Now, in order to do that, we're going to have to define our routes inside of our module.config.php file. All right, so let's go ahead and copy this. And let's go to uh, module album config module.config. Okay. Now we can actually just overwrite what we have here. All right, so what we did is we added this, okay, the router array. And that's just going to point to uh, the different routes that we want. Basically, well, not the routes, it's, it's more of the um, structure, okay? So we'll have slash album, slash, and then whatever the action is. So that'll be either index, add, edit, or delete. And then, of course, the ID. Uh, of that album. Okay, we have some constraints. Basically, we're just saying it has to be alphanumeric or um, a hyphen or an underscore. All right, the default. Okay, we can set up the default controller, which is album, and then the default action, which will be index. All right, so if we go to just, um, you know, my album slash album, it's going to load index. Okay. We don't have to specify the actual index action. So make sure you have that saved. And then if we go and we continue on here, now we want to create the controller. All right, so let's create our album controller. That's going to go in our source. Okay, so we want to go to module album source album controller, create a new file, and we're going to call this album controller.php all right so let's grab what we have here oops I need PHP tag okay so what we're doing here I just like to put these up here just preference so we have our different um, actions or methods or functions whatever you want to call them of this controller index add edit and delete now the way that the convention works is you need to have action after each um, wherever you want to call that action okay and if we go back to our documentation it's it's going to show us the different URLs that are going to call the different methods all right so slash album we'll call index we have album add album edit album delete and just to test this out let's go to our index and let's just say die and then we'll pass in index all right and if we save that and go back and we go to slash album we get index okay if we want to go to let's say add we'll say add all right so you can see that our routes are now mapped to our controller action now obviously we're not going to want to do this what we're going to want to do for each of these is load a view all right um, so all we need to do in each one is just return new view model all right we want to put this in each of these Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to create our view files. All right, so let's open up. Uh, we want album, module album view. All right, and then in here, we're going to create, so we already have our album folder, and then we have another album folder inside of that. So we want to go inside there, and we're going to create a couple things here, a couple files. So this one is going to be um, add.phtml. Whoops. 
it's not doing anything PHTML all right so PHTML it what did I do it's the the, the extension for um, for Zend views okay actually let's take a look at the documentation all right uh, let's see yeah so it's we get to create all of these so we need index edit and delete as well and we want delete okay so there's our view files now if we go and we look inside of our uh, application module which is basically the the base module and we go to view and then we have a folder called layout okay that has a folder called layout PHTML that is basically the wrapper for the application this is where we put our HTML tags our head tags and there's a lot of dynamic stuff in here uh, that we don't want to touch but you can see we also have our nav bar we have um, the container that has the main this is where whatever view we're, we're seeing this is how it comes through okay uh, you can see we also have a footer and some other stuff this is gonna call all the JavaScripts we need and so forth so what we want to do is the skeleton application this is basically what we're seeing uh, inside of our title bar here so if we go back and we don't want that so let's change that okay we'll change that to my albums and we'll just say welcome all right and then in the footer we can change that as well if we change I'll replace this with my albums okay if we save that reload uh, hmm that's still showing this is this is good oh oh it changed this up here I changed the wrong thing this is actually the link so let's change that to um, my albums because it's a link but it's also the the uh, logo um, what we want to change is the title which is up here um, where is it head meta what oh right here We'll change that to my albums. Welcome. Okay, there we go. Actually, we want. Uh, let's see. The CF2. Let's get that out of there. Okay, so my albums welcome. And then we have this little logo area of my albums. Okay. Now what we want to do is go back into our album module and then into the views and let's go to index and let's see what the documentation has for us. Okay, so they actually the documentation doesn't have any code for us. So let's just put in H2 here and we'll give it a class of page header. and let's say albums all right and I'm gonna copy that and then for each view we're just gonna put the h2 in so this will be add album this will be delete edit and index okay so let's cross our fingers and hope that this works so let's go to album okay albums and then if we go to slash add we get add album if we go to slash edit and we should also have delete all right so 
what we've done is we created our controller, we created the actions, and then we linked the actions to a view. All right, so that's going to be it for now. In the next video, we're going to get into our database and models.